Hi there. Welcome back to more derivative action here. So what we're going to look at here is a function y equals x times sine x times cosine x, which is the product of three individual functions. And we're going to try to find the derivative of this function. Well, we're not just going to try, we're going to actually do it. So recall that the product rule for two functions, the derivative of f of x times g of x, is equal to the derivative of the first, f prime, times g, plus f times g prime. So it's the derivative of the first times the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second. So in order to handle three functions, what we're going to do is treat x sine x as the first function and cosine x as the second function. Now you could break this up as any way you want to really. You could do x as your first function and sine x cosine x as your second function and everything will still come out to be the same way. So looking at that, what we need to do is remember that dy dx is equal to the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. And we could have had dots here too, just to be more consistent. So now we have to find each of these individual derivatives. Now the derivative of cosine is gonna be easier. So we'll save that for a little bit later here. The derivative of x sine x is, well, that again is itself a product rule. So it's the derivative of x times sine x, the derivative of the first times the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second. And then we simplify. So the derivative of x is one, and the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So it looks like we have sine x plus x cosine x okay so there's the first part the derivative of cosine x on its own since we need that here the derivative of cosine is simply negative sine of x so then putting this all together the derivative now becomes it's the derivative of x sine x which is sine x plus x cosine x times cosine x no need to write the dot there plus x sine x times the derivative of cosine of x which is negative sine of x and remember i know i drew the arrow there but to be more precise we should write this as dy dx equals and now let's just clean things up a little bit. So it looks like what we should do is distribute the cosine of x to each term. So it looks like sine of x times cosine of x plus x times, now it's x cosine x times cosine x. So that's cosine squared x. When looking at the last term here, we have x times sine x times a negative. That negative is going to make that into a subtraction. And we have x times sine x times sine x is sine squared x. And that, remember, is dy dx. And that is pretty much the end of the story here. That is as good as we can get it. So there is how to handle the derivative of a function with that is the product of three smaller functions. Um, later on, I mean, if you did enough of these, this is just kind of a, not really a bonus example, but kind of something that really tests your knowledge here. One thing you would realize about the product rule for three functions is you could look at it as the, the derivative of the first times the other two, plus the derivative of the second times the other two, plus the derivative of the third times the other two. And you'll notice it comes out exactly the same way. But this is just using our principles for the product rule. So there we have it.